What's up, my brother? How you doing, buddy? Doing good, doing good. Everything good? Everything is good. Excellent. Everything is good. Got a couple of, uh, um, I got a couple things if you, if you want to go first, if you have anything. No, no, go ahead. By all means. Okay. What do you got? You didn't tell me well, this in the green room. See? I know. I, Tony, I like to keep you on your toes, my brother. I you eat, and you do that. And you definitely do that. So what what do you got? I want to keep the excitement going, man. Okay. <laughs> all right. Anybody, first of all, we missed a major holiday. You and I did. Halloween. We did, we did not acknowledge Halloween. Well, well, I didn't think we should acknowledge. Well, I guess we could have dressed up like we did last year. But yeah. I know that you don't really care for the horror movies. So I didn't want to bother doing any type of horror movie episode with Halloween, you know. No, but I, you know what? It's been crazy. It's been kind of crazy around here, and, uh, and, and, you know. So it just completely slid by me. And I'm like, shoot, you know what? We should have dressed up or done something. And that slid by. And then, you know, I put a couple of posts up on Instagram Halloween night. I know you saw them. Well, yeah, I reposted them on on the round fourteen page. Yeah, and needless to say, I was a little disappointed at my neighborly kids. Okay, <laughs> I guess I want to say <laughs> what happened. Well, you saw me out there. Yeah, and I had on my Rocky. Oh, that's right. I read what you were. They, they didn't know who you were. That's yeah, right. and I'm like, you tell me who I am. All right, listen, I? listen. I got to stick up for the kids on this one. All right. You're wearing camouflage shorts. You got, <laughs> you got the you got just some random t-shirt on. <laughs> and you're also talking to kids that were, you know, not even near alive when when any Rocky came out. So I gotta give them a little slack there. All right, I'll give them a I'll, I'll let them on a sliding scale, but you know <laughs> I, <laughs> I I wanted I mean to maybe see. the parents, you know, if some of those parents came around, some of those parents were like 30 years old. All the most of the parents you knew. know they're like, tell them it's Rocky. <laughs> oh yeah, see, okay, you know, that's good. You know. So yeah, I was uh you know, and I like I said in my last post, I was like, What's up? You know, come on, guys. I'm going to start trick or treating at the 55 and plus communities, <laughs> <laughs> and then they would be senile. They would know who is that guy. Yeah. Who is that? Is another bill collector. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, that's, that's good. So that was. I love. I love the costume you had on the dog. Oh, my grand dog. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That was that's good. my that's my daughter Ashley's well, future daughter. reference. I will make sure we have a Halloween episode from now on. Yeah, I, how that slid by, you know what? It's something well, else I, I knew by. it was there, and you know, I was like, well, I know you don't. <coughs> excuse me, I know you don't like scary movies. Yeah, so I didn't want to go. I was like, well, what are we gonna do? You know, I don't want to go talking about horror movies. He doesn't like them. I, you know, like you said, we could have dressed up. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you yeah. that. One. I it slid. I don't know. It just it missed it just missed me. And it wasn't until that night when Deb says, you know, you should probably go put your, mask, your Rocky mask on. And I'm like, oh yeah, it is Halloween. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> you it's know. still good though. All good. And then I I do have to make amends. October October 25th. Okay. <sighs> was my 21st wedding anniversary. <laughs> oh. Happy anniversary, hon. There you go. <laughs> I've been trying. That Ava, that, that's Ava's 18th birthday. No kidding. Yeah, October 25th. Okay, so yeah, that was our 21st. Been together 26. Um, happy belated anniversary. <laughs> so, so you're together 21 years. And you've been <laughs> together 26? Yeah, married 21, together 26. Okay. A little, so better late than never, right? Of course, of course. We'll be married. Um, let me think about what is this? Twenty four. So we're married twenty three years. Okay. So not too not too far behind. Yeah? No. And we've been together for uh, thirty. Wow. Okay. Yeah, our numbers are pretty pretty darn yeah, close. Yeah, we're right? close. We're close. And then Good stuff. my last thing is um, we are recording tonight, which is election eve. Right? Yes, it is election eve. Well, election night, election day, election night, election, election day. day. Yeah, whatever. Day, uh, night, whatever. No. 
So I am going to endorse my two candidates. <laughs> Bill Bowen, Rocky, Rocky, and Apollo. There you go. Rocky and Apollo. They could probably do a better job president. than both of them. So we're good. <laughs> yeah, like we were discussing earlier, you know, we don't we don't talk politics or religion. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that was installed in me a long time ago when I was very yeah. young and I started bartending. That's the extent uh, like I I'm told you. get into politics. That's the extent of it right here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yep. So I mean everybody has their, you know, their their views. Yeah. But I go by the the old bartender and the Elvis Presley answer of um, I prefer to keep those views to myself and and I'm just a, an entertainer. Yep. <laughs> so yep. yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yep. Nobody else has to. They can do what they want. Free yeah. country. Hey, yeah. I hope your favorite person wins. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> well, <you> know. <laughs> depends on who their favorite person is. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I get what you're saying. I understand. That's so we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on. We're going to talk about, uh-oh. <laughs> we got Tulsa King review of episode eight tonight. Yes, which was just on. Oh my god! And I stand corrected, by the way. And I'll back up a second. I said to you the other day when we did last week's episode, episode seven. I told yeah. you there was just two more, and yeah. there was only eight and nine. I was wrong. There's ten. So there's there's eight, which we're doing tonight. Yeah. Then there's two more. There's okay. nine and ten. Okay. So I apologize for any. Mistake I made, or anybody I told out there. I feel um, this there much better. Ten episodes, so we got one more than we expected. Well, that's why I and said then, I feel that much better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, so we got a lot going on. We got that episode tonight. Uh, we're talking about. We have a special uh, edition of Round Fourteen podcast coming on Thursday at eight o'clock uh, with uh, with a special guest of ours. And we'll be talking about the Rocky Run, which is where we will be yes. on Friday and Saturday this coming week. Right. We have a lot going on this week. It's going to be a tiring oh. weekend. You know what? I just, had a, I just had a thought. For our our special show on Thursday night, mm. we should have... Remember back when we were kids, like Channel 3 would have a, a special show, you know, whatever it was. Yeah, going. like when the holiday shows came on, Rudolph yeah. and Frosty you and know, stuff. And a special peacock. presentation, like special they, 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 presentation, they, they, the peacock <laughs> and all that. We should have done that. <laughs> oh that, my god! Well, now we low. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. We have a lot going on, guys. We really do. We have, um, like I said, we do have the Rocky Run this coming weekend. Uh, we have the special episode on Thursday, Friday. Rick and I are going to be in Philly, uh, uh, show uh, recording from locations, doing yeah. videos from locations. Uh, there's a lot going on on Friday for us. We'll be setting up our tent as well. Saturday is the run. We were going to be there bright and early in the morning. I shouldn't say bright. It's not going to be bright. It's going to be very dark. Um, be there probably around 4 a.m. setting up and getting everything ready, and then all the runners come. Uh, we'll be doing live uh, videos from there. We have merchandise to sell. We have merchandise to give away if you follow us on uh, Instagram and also subscribe to YouTube channel. Yeah. So we'll be there until the race is over. And then we have more stuff going on Saturday night. Um, we have a lot. It's it's a busy weekend. Busy week. Did you, I'm bringing toothpicks. To keep your eyes open? <laughs> <laughs> For both of us. The clockwork orange. Right. I know. <laughs> keep both of our eyes open. We're, it's going to be a busy what? week. I mean, you yeah, know. we're going to we're gonna be we're going we're gonna to go full tilt. Yep. Um, yep. We might have to start a GoFundMe page for for bail money. We don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Actually, we could do a GoFundMe page to help the help the podcast. Give us the help here. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah, you know, help us out a little bit, and also, yeah, get us out of jail in case anything does happen crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but no. bring my Monopoly card. <laughs> get out of jail free. <laughs> exactly. No, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good weekend. We'll uh, we're gonna be eating poorly, and uh, you know. Drinking espresso to stay awake and, and whiskey to feel good. So Absolutely. Uh, it's going to be a good weekend. Yeah, looking forward good to weekend. it. Car so, is just about packed. What's that? The car is just about packed. Oh, boy. <laughs> what kind of car is it anyway, by the way? Is it uh, the same as last year? You yeah. got a different one. Just the newer model. We had a release. Oh, okay, uh, okay. How's the Kia Sportage? or So know. another SUV. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot. Make sure anybody that's listening, if you are in the area, you stop by, say hello, 
Yeah. You know, maybe talk to us a little bit, take some pictures, buy some merchandise, whatever. You know, we got a beautiful uh, uh, gift basket mm -hmm. that we will be raffling off. Yeah. Um, yep. Like Tony was talking about. Uh, was it like, follow, subscribe, whatever? Yeah, subscribe to our, you know, show us that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and show us you're following us on Instagram and you get a ticket. Yeah. Uh, and um, at the end yep. of the day, yeah. you know, at the end of two o'clock, whatever, whatever the run is over, we're going to reach in and move it around and pick one out. And there's a really nice basket that's, uh, that's going to be auctioned off with a whole bunch of merchandise. Let's see here. If yeah. I can. Yeah, yeah. I, I can tell you what's in there while Tony's trying to load up the picture. Uh, we have an official round 14 embroidered hat, a official uh, round 14, the podcast T-shirt. Uh -huh. um, we have, uh, let's see. Um, oh, there's some uh, coasters or little signs that I had made. Rocky, uh, Mighty Mix Jim, Rocky and stuff like that. Italian Stallion. There are um, right. stickers, keychains from the Boxing Hall of Fame, the International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota. There are four free passes to the Boxing International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota. Uh, there's a boxing, a little boxing glove the, from the George Foreman movie. It was a pro promo, Big George Foreman. It was a promo. Um, and there's a... Rocky two trading card from my collection to, to give away as well. I think that's about it, right? Is there anything else? My sad. I think you got all that, man. That's a good memory. Oh, you, and there's two it koozies. Took me that long to get the picture. <laughs> but and two koozies to put around your two beard. koozies. Okay, let's see if yeah, Rick got uh, it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see if Rick got it all. Yeah. So he's got the signs. He's got the T-shirt. He's got the koozies. He's got the hat. He's got the George Foreman boxing glove, the Rocky II card, the passes to the Hall of Fame, and a George Foreman pen, I think that is. You're correct. And then mm -hmm. I'm not sure what – it's the stickers um, for the, oh. the belts, the, the Hall of Fame. Yep, boxing Hall of Fame. And I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. So and then a good-looking good basket right there. There's two uh, Showtime sports uh, oh, yeah, the koozies. koozies. Yeah. Yeah. I would there say for go. soda, but we know better than that. It's a good basket right there, man. It's a real yeah. good basket. All you got to do is we, follow we, us or like us or whatever it. you do. Yeah. They'll probably change it on the way home, but it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get on. We've been yapping long enough. So, okay. Tulsa King, season two, episode oh eight. God. Under new management. What oh, boy. This, <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, so where do we start? Right from the um, opening scene. <laughs> opening scene when uh, they're talking to Tyson. Yeah. And telling him on how he messed up. And he needed to, you know, do about it, go about it the right way. Mitch is yelling at him. Goody's yelling at him. Sly looks like he wants to uh, – Dwight looks like he wants to yeah. kill him. Um, and explaining to him, you know, you're in a family. If this was the real mob, I'd have grounds to just take you out right now. Absolutely. Yeah, and that was the uh, that was the trailer or the 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 yeah, the trailer or whatever yeah, I saw trailer. that I saw right after last episode. And I was like, oh my God. Crazy. So that was there, <clears throat> you know, and they told Tyson, you know, we'll we'll, we'll do things. We have to, you know, check it out first. We gotta see. Yeah. Can't just fly off the seat of our pants and go crazy. Right. Um, after that, oh, after that, was that when he went home and talked to Tina? Yes. Yes, he told. Okay. Went home, and uh, Tina sent the boys up to their room, and he had the conversation and said, you need to go back to New York. Which, you know, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I understand and I don't understand. I understand because he doesn't want her near imminent danger again. Right. But in the same respect, the people that are coming after him have ways of finding out if they wanted to, you know, to go after her. I know mm -hmm. he made that phone call to Chicky. Look, if anybody comes near her, follows her, whatever, you know, 
mm -hmm. two in the back of your head. Um, but in the same respect, they're going to, if they wanted to, if they were going to go after the, the daughter and the grandkids, which generally they wouldn't. Right. They could find her. So I was surprised that he sent her out of there because that's going to put a strain on the relationship. Right. And she said, you know, if this puts a, a strain on the relationship, there's going to be no turning back. It'll be over. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I mean, and she's right, you know, because they, they made amends. They got everything was going OK. She understands the, 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 the business. Yeah. She knows that he's not, you know, a car salesman. I mean. Right. But in the same respect. You know, she kind of thought it went it went to an, a, a bit of normalcy in the life where they right. could, you know, have a life. And Dwight says, well, just give us some time. And she's like, we're out of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's done, you know. It's, yeah. And, and off they went. I kind of wish she would have fought a little bit about it. I kind of wish she would have been like, look, if they're going to come after me, they're going to come after me in New York or they're going to come after me here. I'd rather be with you. I, you know, I know you'll protect me. I'd rather not be in New York where I don't know who nobody's around. Well, that's what I what I said last when, on our last episode was when he was talking about sending her back to New York. I'm like, well, there's people in New York who want you too. Yeah. Right. Right, <laughs> Send them to Hawaii, <laughs> you know, Argentina, <clears throat> somewhere that they're not going. You don't send your your family to a place where the bad guys already are. Yeah, I mean, making that phone call. I mean, you really, if, if Chicky's plan was to go after them, you think he's going to, I mean, don't come after my kids. Oh, well, too bad, Dwight. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, right. You know, you know, you know, so. Right. Okay. So after that, um, I'm just kind of reading ahead of my notes here. That was when Jackie and Thresher mm -hmm. were talking uh, and. and Jackie kind of told Thresher, you're going to sell me the business and sign the contract here and pushed him to his knees and put guns to his head. And <laughs> For a thousand dollars. Surprised he made it that much. Surprised know, right? he didn't put it for a dollar. He should have put I it know, for a right? dollar. It would have been a, lo a lot more of a, uh, you know, like, yeah, right. Mm, twisted it in there. You know, I mean, uh, at first, you know, Jackie, try Cal tried to, Thresher tried to play tough guy. I'm not doing that. You're out of your mind, you know. And I told you, Jackie's the told you, Jackie is the big bad of the entire season. Oh yeah, and he's proven it so far. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Because yeah. then he, like you said, he dropped, you know, pushing his knees, and he had his his goombas around him with, you know, the, the guns. And you got six rifles pointing to your head. You're not going to sign this paper. I yeah. know. Jeez. So then Thresher goes to go see Bevilacqua. Yeah, and and I remember I said to you that one of the, that either he's going to team up with Bevilacqua or Jackie's going to team up with Bevilacqua. I knew one of them were going to go, and I had a feeling it was going to be Jackie because Thresher was becoming a problem. Mm -hmm. But I should have known Jackie was too. I got this. I'm tough, you know, and I'll take care of it myself. Yeah, but yeah, but Bevilacqua had the correct answer. How is this my problem? Right, yeah, and he was pissed off. He is mad. Oh, Thresher, or yeah, no. oh, when he, oh, oh, when Bevilacqua found out, yeah, well, Bevilacqua told, I mean, Thresher told Bevilacqua about the car and that yeah. he uh, and that Jackie tried to blow up Dwight. That's when Bevilacqua got pissed. Yeah, yeah, he got he got mad. Yeah, he's like, now I'm at war. Stuff. He's like, I'm at war now, and yeah, you know, for what. Rightfully so, too. Absolutely, yeah. rightfully so. So yeah, so that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty intense. Um, oh, and then we had the inevitable scene come up with Chicky and Vince and the oh, and the yeah. heads in, in New York, where they informed Chicky that he's out, and Vince has taken over the family, which is kind of strange, man. According to all mafia lore and film and. Mm -hmm. whatever that wouldn't happen no I, I don't think so i mean they wouldn't just tell somebody you're out and we're taking over the family they're too much of a risk now especially a hothead like him so you think they would have had him oh they would have been oh, yeah, standing would've. on the tarp yeah they would have whacked him they, they definitely would have 
they're they're saying that they didn't because they respect and yada yada. But I don't know about that. I you know he could cause too many problems. He can go yeah. to the other families. He can go to you know he could go to the feds. Yeah, can, there's so much he could do to screw them back. So right. and that's uh and Vince. In case you guys don't know, that's Vince here telling Chicky he's out. Of course, that didn't go over very well. Chicky kind of yeah. went crazy. You know, expected rightfully so. Sure, rightfully so. Um, I think if I think if I'm in a room from now on, you know, and I'm Vince, I would be looking to be if, if there was plastic under my feet. You know, <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. I, I mean, what was it? Lethal weapon, right? Wasn't it lethal weapon where the one guy is in front of the the boss and he's kind of shuffling around? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like. He's like, what are you doing? He goes, I was just looking if I'm sending out plastic. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's true. Yeah. yeah that's what I mean. You know, it, it's, it's, that, you know, you saw this coming. You know, Chicky's a hothead. He has a problem with, with drugs or dr- whatever he's got going on. I mean, he seems like he's, seems like he's coked up all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, Vince is not even the next in line that should take over. So that's why it's kind of, Odd, but yeah, hey, whatever. So let's see here. So the gangsters mentioned they knew Chicky killed Pete. Chicky had also killed one of his own men just to make Goody feel guilty. Remember when he killed the one guy on the phone? And it was good reason to remove Chicky from power. It's also a reason he might want to attack Vince and pay back his betrayal with blood, which is what I said. He's too he's too he's too much of a, a wild card now. Yeah, that's why they get rid of you when they don't want you around. You can't do anything. Dead men tell no tales. That's right. So it's you know nothing can happen. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and that's right. Then you had, and I saw. I knew this was coming. I saw, and I, I the wrong person got shot that I thought, but when the driver came out over by the higher, uh, I always forget the name of that place. Higher plane. The higher plane. Yeah. 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 And you saw the car coming, and and Bodie and Jimmy were walking out. Yeah, and I knew I thought it was gonna be Bodie. I did too. I really yeah. thought it was gonna be Bodie. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be Bodie. Um, it happened very quickly. It's uh, they shot Jimmy in the stomach, not looking good. Uh, and then of course Bodie is not, you know, not happy. Right. Well, they had previous to that though. They he. Had- they shut the shop down. They packed everything up, right, and right. locked everything up. And they were closing up for a while, right. And it was Bodie and Jimmy or walk. They were the last two out to lock up and walk away. And right, that's right. when the car. Well, came like I said, around. you know, well, the one guy from the higher plane said, "It's like going to the mattresses, isn't it?" Uh, you know, but and I know you don't get that because you didn't see The Godfather yet. <laughs> but anyway, I did, see, I did see Johnny Dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god guys i want everybody to just bombard rick's instagram with godfather <laughs> godfather pictures quotes watch this film he's not allowed to do any more round 14 till he watches the godfather all right um so it says here Jim, whether jimmy lives or dies remains to be seen the attack is going to have some serious repercussions you know, Jimmy's an important part of the operation. He's the main producer of Bodie's Weed. And his name, and I didn't know this until I was reading up on it, his name is on the casino license for the Bread to Buck. Oh. And he also helped set up the wind farm deal with Med Hat. Now, I do remember that. He did help that. Right. Well, um, now that could have ramifications because they are, if it's under, uh, uh, well, Bread to Buck is on reservation property. Correct. And in order right. to be on reservation property, it had to be registered to a Native American Indian who was Correct. Jimmy. And now Jimmy could possibly be dead and there could be licensing. Right. And, there, and there isn't, I don't think they don't have, I mean, I don't know, maybe the one, the heavy guy that's that's security, maybe he's American, he's Native American. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll have to find out. What happened? Um, whatever happened to what, what was the other uh Indian um 
in the, earlier in the season, maybe even last season, was they called him his like ugly face or something. I can't remember. It was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what I'm talking about? I don't think. <laughs> I don't think anybody's name was Ugly Face. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. This is so unprofessional. I can't believe how hard I'm laughing. Oh, whew, that was a good one. I don't think anybody's name was Ugly Face. It they had so the guy good. Med Hat, remember? No, not Med Hat. I know Med It oh, was before God. him. Making when, me cry. <laughs> when they were, when uh, Dwight was. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. And I just, <laughs> with with the with the uh, Indians to begin with, with the tribe with uh, earlier season one. Oh God, I don't know. I I'll have to look that up because I'm not making Ooh. it up. But that was funny. Oh my God. Okay, so uh, we we you know obviously the 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 Dwight uh, Cal going to Dwight Cal going to Bevilacqua to to ask him to kind of help him out join join forces there. Um, and now that Bill knows um, the truth that it was Thresher and Jackie, mm -hmm. he could technically go to Dwight and say, look, I know it was them. You and I don't have a beef. We still have our agreement. You know, let's take them out. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. He doesn't, I mean, Bev Lockwood doesn't really seem like the type to try to you know, let's join forces with people. Like I, you know, he seems definitely type A personality. I got this on my own, but yeah. you never know, right? Well, yeah. If he has a if he has a second to cool down and think it through, but you know, if, if he's a, a hothead like he's portrayed, a, you know, and he just reacts, you know, who Bevilacqua? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he definitely seems like a hothead, but again, he, you know, he he. He was okay with the deal that was made. I know later on when he went back to his house, he was not okay with the deal. But I think in the retrospect, he, you know, he's like, I, I can make peace with this. I'm not sharing anything with New York. You know, this is okay. I think, I think honestly, bevelacqua has got more of a problem with New York and with Thresher than he does with Dwight at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, I think New York is is just kind of like he's like you know, you guys are just a pain in my neck. I really want nothing to do with you. You're you you know you're you, and then Thresher obviously coming into the the place is just. But that guy know. in the back of the car that shot Jimmy, there was Bevel Aqua's crew. Yes, well, they said that later on. Remember, they said was it Dwight, and they said no. Remember when they were talking about yeah. you know we we yeah. we went and hit him, but it wasn't Dwight. I mean right. so. You know, um, and then the uh, the big ending with well, it wasn't the ending itself, but it leading up to the ending. Our man, our man Armand Manny, <laughs> whatever you want to call him, he's just a disaster. Oh yeah, he he, he was he was been in his wheels. Oh man, he's well, he calls his his estranged wife. They're not yeah. divorced yet, but yeah, looking to he's like, well, maybe I'll you know go to the feds and, and, and you know, go back under federal protection. You and the kids come, and they set her off. Yeah, what do you? She's like, what are you nuts? I want to get out of my life. I'm tired <clears> of <throat> your nonsense. Yeah, you know? yeah, and that set him off. Then he goes to work. He's yelling at I don't remember the character that his Sly's daughter plays. I don't remember her name. But he's yelling at her, throwing clipboards at her. Right. Marga comes in. What's going on? Marga sees that he's drunk. She fires him. So now he lost. He definitely lost his wife and kids. He lost his job. Um, he's sitting in his car in, in an underpass, overpass. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, calling his son, telling him, "I'm, you know, you're probably not going to see me for a while." Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. You know. And then he goes to Thresher, just comes pulling up like a maniac. I need your help. I need money. That's just like, get out of here. It throws a hundred dollar bill on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> get the hell out of here. But see, that's the way Bevel, uh, Thresher acts tough. Thresher yeah. is not near a Bevelacqua or a Jackie. No. Not even no. close. Not that we're, now we're finding out. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so, you know, he's at wit's end. So his genius mind decides yeah. to go to the bread to buck. He's lost all rationality. And rob Dwight and the gang of their money. Yeah. Pulls a gun on Goody. Did you think he was going to shoot Goody? I did. I actually thought he was going to shoot Goody. See, I didn't think he was going to shoot him and kill him. I did think he was going to shoot him. I thought he no, was going to shoot him. And, I thought he was going to shoot him and not be a good shot, like get him in the shoulder, you know, and then take oh. the money and leave. I didn't think he'd kill him because Goody's kind of an important part. I thought but he was going to shoot he did, him. I didn't, yeah, kill, I don't know, but I thought when he did shoot him. above Goody's head, though, I'm surprised Goody didn't take out and fire back, you know? Right. So, so yeah. So that was the uh, ending, Armand's decision. <laughs> There's also likely a mental health aspect to Armand's decision. Mm -hmm. The stress and the shame of his situation can have left him in a good place. So the final two episodes of Tulsa King Season 2 have quite a few loose ends left to tie up. Seeing how Armand's decision plays out to showing who will win in the war between Dwight, Jackie, and Bill. The show is going to have to move very quickly to get a satisfying ending. If season two, episode eight is any indication of the pacing, however, the series would have no problem answering all the questions they raised. And then Tulsa King may have a few more surprises left in store. So that is that, my friend. I, you know what? I don't know as if, first of all, could they wrap it up? Yes. Well, they're obviously, they're, I mean, there's major talk of season three. But do they want to wrap it up? Is right. I mean, I think they'll wrap up the majority. You know, I, I like I told you episodes ago, I can't see Armand living past this season. No, but there's got to be a cliffhanger like last year, right? When the Fed show up and they're getting ready, you know, you're arrest, you know, Dwight, you're coming with us, you're under arrest. Boom. You know, see, there's got to be thinking, that. Though, like. Break it down, break it down by, by character. So you figure, okay, any of the guys, you know, Tyson, Mitch, Goody, Bigfoot, you know, the the, the core of the gang. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything's gonna happen to those guys. At least not yet. No, That's just I, my I, opinion. Armand. Oh, Armand's done. Armand. Yeah. I, yeah. That's that's a no-brainer. Armand's done by whomever i mean he might just do something stupid and wise off to somebody at a gas station and they're going to shoot him but i i do believe dwight's going to get him i mean yeah. but i mean i i could see it maybe ending where they do go to war some things happen one of the big bads get killed where i could see it being thresher i was just going to say i think thresher yeah. is the first to go of of the bad I, guys i agree i don't think bevelock was going to go no. Um, and I don't, and I think Jackie is, he's too much of a threat to go right away. I think he might lead us into season three where maybe Dwight does something to him, or maybe you see Jackie pulling up to Dwight's house and his sister's inside, you know, and knocks on the door and the sister opens the door and mm. you don't see it ends right there. Yeah. You know, does he kill her? Does he not kill her? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot, there, a lot of directions they could go. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I think Armand goes, Thresher goes. And I'm thinking Vince. Vince? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I think Chicky takes Vince out before we get to the end of the season. It might be. Wow. I think okay. those, no, I those are my top that. three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't I, I agree with you and not thinking Chicky's gonna go. Yeah. I agree with you 100% on that. Um, I don't think so either. He's he's too good of a character. He's too meaningful to the plot. You know, he's got a lot of a lot of stuff going on there. Um, yeah, uh, he you're right. He could. He could. I, I like I can, that. I can see him coming in and saying, you know, you thought you were going to throw me out? Yeah. Bang, get a bang, get a bang. Yeah. I'm back. And if you don't like it, you know, here's some lead for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm just uh, out of the out of the Bevelacqua Thresher Jackie. I definitely see Thresher being the one. 
Yeah, I do. Um, I don't think it's going to be Bevan Lockwood at all. I really don't. No, no. Um, and I doubt it would be Jackie. Because they're already yeah, showing yeah. how weak Bevel, uh I keep going mixing up, how weak Thresher is. They're already yeah. showing that several times, how weak he is. So I can't really imagine him going on to next season to become more of a villain. So I don't think it's going to be him. I, I think it's going to be, I mean, I don't think he's going to survive. I mean, I, I don't think he's going to last. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, Armand, if he doesn't go, I'll be surprised. Yeah. And then you got, well, then you got another thing. Okay, so so if if so, Thresher told Bevilacqua that Jackie tried to kill Dwight. So now, is he asking him like, "Let's go after Jackie. Let's get Dwight on our side, and the three of us go after Jackie." Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I don't. Know. There's so many directions this can go in. Yeah. It's such a great show. Yeah, it is. It is. I, I I don't at this point. I don't think there would be any way Dwight would team up with Thresher. I think he's just got it. He's just so pissed off at the man. Yeah. That, no, I know, agree. I agree. Because of Margaret and because of everything else, I don't. There's no way in hell that he's going to. Well, that's up. another. That's another good point. Where does Margaret fit into all this? We've already discussed about her kind of knowing about the gangster background. How she was involved, we still don't know, but mm. it didn't seem to completely frighten her off. But when he said, doesn't this make you nervous? She's like, yeah, a little. So how and what has she done and how and where is she going to fit into this? You know? So, yeah. I mean, I don't have any, I have no reason to, no reason behind my suspicion, but something just is just telling me that she's going to become a bigger player than what she's actually showing and i think she's behind one of these groups i don't know is is a is like um uh like the deep throat type uh you know the shadow the shadow figure yeah you know, they don't know who this is person is right. and i could be completely wrong you know but well i mean I, I see where you're going with it i mean can she be more of a heavy hitter than than she's appearing she's not she's looks I think we both agree she's not just running a stable. No, no, yeah, uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's something going on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't get, think. I don't the, think it's what's that. I'm, well, you, she gets on the phone and she has a scrambled voice like, "Oh, you know, I want her to do that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, yeah you know, like she's, she's she's running the the organization in the shadows. Yeah, you know, like Charlie been, from Charlie's Angels. We never saw his face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. John Forsythe. <laughs> so that's but that's that's kind of how I'm picturing her, you know. But Maybe. I, I could be completely off base on that. Well, I, well, I, but I see where you're going with it. I mean, she's more involved than she, than she's coming across. She's not just a woman that runs a stable and no. that is, is smitten with Dwight. Right. She's definitely more of a player in this, and somehow now it may have nothing to do with Bevilacqua, Thresher, or Jackie. Mm-hmm. It may be that she has done things in the past and now she's away from it, you know, or, or maybe, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. But I do see where you're going and I agree with you. I think it's something more to her than we're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. Cause, uh, yeah. but to just reiterate what you said was, it's a great show. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic show. Yeah. I love it. I love Can't it. get it off. I, 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 I think, I hope that there really is a season three. Yeah. Uh, it seems to be that there's going to be. Right. Um, and it kind of has to be really, because I mean, how could you wrap things up? You know, you can't just, okay. You know, Dwight's, you know, everybody's, you know, everybody's doing well now. I mean, it's, you it's, know, I don't know. Too fast, too soon to wrap that up. Yeah, no, agree. There, there's agreed. more, there's more on the bone. Yeah, to, you know, to chew from. You know, you can absolutely get a season three, probably a season four, depending on how they play it. You know, but, yeah. But then again, you know, like I'm, I've always under the impression if it's working, keep it going. But you know, I know some. Well, yeah, has- it'll it'll get to a point. I mean, you know, all the shows, the Sopranos, and and uh, you know, all these shows that are that ran for a long time, they eventually run their course. I mean, 
Right. You know, there's shows that are, are, are between seven and nine seasons where honestly, they could probably have eliminated a season or mm-hmm. two yeah. and called it quits a little earlier. Mm-hmm. Some of the finales were not what people were hoping for or people were expecting like, Oh really? That's it. It's over. All right. You know, and, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, they keep yeah. having good uh, um, numbers for as far as viewing. Uh, everybody's talking about the show. They love the show. Now that they're not filming in Oklahoma anymore, nobody's melting. So I don't, you know, that's a plus. <laughs> it I tell, think it, whatever you know, Taylor Sheridan touches turns to gold. Pretty much. I mean, he really is something else. Landman. So. That's the name of the one that is coming up. Landman? Yep. Landman. Taylor Sheridan's newest project, okay. Landman. Now, is that an older uh Take place in older times, or no? Or? But it's got Demi Moore. Ah, uh, I just saw the preview for it the other night. Landman drama series. Okay, let's see what we got here. Deep in the heart of West Texas, roughne- roughnecks and wildcat billionaires try to get rich quick in the oil business as oil rigs begin to dominate the state. Crisis executive Tommy Norris tries to bring his company to the top during a fueling boom. So um, Demi Moore is in it. Yes, you're right. John Hamm is also yes, in it. John Hamm. Billy Bob Thornton seems to be the lead. Yes. Um, wow. All right. And it looks good. Okay. You know. Let's see. I, I mean, just want to see when it takes place, though. Like, I guess, so it premieres November 17th. So that's only next week. And synopsis. Okay, we already brought, talked about that. Fueling a boom so big it's reshaping our climate, our economy, and our geopolitics. Okay, so it's it's not it's set in today's times. It's not because yeah. uh, he has some of the prequels to Yellowstone. Right, is like in the eighteen hundreds and stuff yeah. like that. And I've seen some of them. That they are very good as well. But good stuff. Um, man. Yellowstone is just another one, just top notch. You know, I, I love it. You know, yeah, and that and, and that's back um, uh, Sunday. Is it really? I think it's November tenth. Is Yellowstone? Okay. I think so. Let okay. me just take a look real quick before we sign yeah. off here. Likely, uh, like Yellowstone. Said. Yellowstone. Season five. Right now, it's good and, to be Taylor Sheridan. <laughs> telling you, man. Season oh well, no, when season six? Okay. Um, November 10th. Yeah, this coming Sunday. Wow. I'm going to have to go back and watch the last few episodes of the last season because that was so long ago. I don't even remember. I know. So. All righty. All right. Well, like we already reiterate to everybody, we have a lot going on. We will be up at the – put this up here. We'll be up at the Rocky Run in Philadelphia this coming weekend. Okay. Come and visit our tent. Come and visit John Rivoli's tent. He'll be next to us. He's He has these posters for sale that he will sell. Uh, Rocky Run posters there with the date on They're them and beautiful. stuff. Beautiful artwork. Oh, just um, gorgeous. Yeah. Just so gorgeous. we'll be up there and we'll also be recording and taking pictures and doing live interviews and having a whole good time. So looking forward to seeing whoever can come out and make sure you vote for your, your two candidates there. There they are. Get them. <laughs> all righty so until so next time when we talk you're going to see this episode you're going to see our special edition episode on thursday and then we will be talking next week about episode nine of tulsa king and then also having our rocky run recap yeah episode so we have a yeah. lot to do we have a lot going on yes and we have some special guests in the works coming after Yep. Out, hopefully coming up. Yep. 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 We kept our word. With about us. That. We have some more coming up. So yeah, we have a it's, a, it's an exciting time. Seems like yeah. whenever it gets towards the end of the year, we got a lot going on. So yeah. Hang, Good stuff. hang tight with us, folks. Hang yep. tight. Exactly. All right, everybody. Until next week, we'll see you later. Have a good one.